pandemic has been very tough for entrepreneurs. Some have had to close their businesses, while others have had to get creative. Dennis Ting introduces us to event planners who needed to do something when they saw all of their events getting canceled or postponed. Flavorful events, catering and more is still here, but with the pandemic cutting down on the number of events that they usually do, these entrepreneurs say they had to make a pivot. So they decided to turn to something that they knew, coffee. Latoya Cook Bradley and her husband, Marty Bradley, have run an event planning and catering business. But when the pandemic hit, many of their scheduled weddings and other events had to either be rescheduled or continue with strict limitations on how many people could attend. So Latoya and Marty decided to open a coffee shop in their event planning space, which they're calling Brew and Sip. Latoya says the coffee shop is a way for them to not only make up some of their lost revenue, but to also give the community a place where they can meet. I call it pivot. We pivoted because it's out of necessity, true. But, it, I mean, when you have something that you enjoy, you make it work for you. So and we're making she, it work. She definitely made it work. <laughs> Latoya says this isn't just something they're doing during the pandemic. She says the goal is to have a separate space just for the coffee shop by next year. Latoya says she decided to open this week to coincide with 502 Black Eats Week, which she hopes will also help get the word out that her coffee shop is here for the community. In Louisville, Dennis Ting, WHAS 11 News.